Hi there! Welcome back! If you are new, my name is Eileen and welcome to my channel! In today's video, I'm gonna share with you 3 home decors using mostly Dollar Tree items. So if you like this project, keep on watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and let's get started! For our first DIY, I will be using this calendar from Dollar Tree. I choose the walk by faith and not by sight. I cannot find the farmer's calendar but I found this calendar full of verses and it makes me so happy. And I also have the basket. This basket, I have it on hand. If you don't have a basket, you can just go to a thrift store. They sell a lot of baskets and I also cut the foam board because the basket is not flat enough to lay out the calendar and then I just use the flat paintbrush and the mud patch. My paintbrush is a bit wet before I dump to the mud patch to avoid the bubbles and it works great. Do not use the foam brush because it will give you a lot of bubbles. Then I just lay out the calendar. And it looks like this. It did not give me a lot of bubbles which is nice and I also added more Mod Podge on top to protect the paper because the calendar is not so uh, thick so we need to protect it and then it will give you a nice finish too. And once the Mod Podge is dry, I grab my black acrylic paint by apple barrel and then i just distress the side i also use this circular foam brush and it's really nice to use it on your project I added more distressing on the sign using the foam brush and the black acrylic paint. I used the side of the foam brush. I just, I just dab it to the acrylic paint and I also used my finger to spread the paint. And it really nice. It looks great. It looks like it belongs there and it gives the sign more texture. And then I went outside to spray paint the basket this is optional though you can keep the color of the basket but i spray paint mine with metal metallic gold because this is the theme color of our house and then once it is dry i went back inside and i also grabbed the this wood from dollar tree and i just apply wood glue and hot glue to attach it and i use four pieces and then after that, I apply hot glue to attach the sign. Oh, before I attach the sign to the basket, I use this twine to cover up the foam board and it really give you a nice finished sign and it gives you more texture. Then I will add bow on the sign using this ribbon that I've got from Joanne's. It was a dollar forty nine cents. It was on sale, and I really like the texture of this ribbon. And then I made the bow like this. I just stuck all the flop, and then yeah, that's it called flops. Yeah, <laughs> and then I used the fuzzy stick, and here I am cutting the one that's for the middle, and I just attached that with the remaining fuzzy stick and we have a ribbon or a bow <laughs> and 
I want this sign to have that natural look so I grabbed some branches outside and it's free and I also added a little bit of greenery and you're done with the first project then tada you have this beautiful sign you could just put it against the wall or you can hang it and then yeah walk by faith not by sight it's really a nice verse let's proceed to diy number two For our second DIY, I grabbed this charger plate from Dollar Tree. I grabbed the one with the wood texture. And then I used my line and white by Rustolium. I painted it one to two coats, but I did not cover the entire thing. I let the the wood stick out. And then this is the first coat look like and here I am applying the second coat and this is the second coat looks like and i really love it and we're gonna work on the clock i have an old clock so i disassemble it i got the hand and the movement but if you don't have an old clock you can go to hobby lobby the clock hand is three dollar 49 cents and the movement is seven dollar 99 cents and just use the 40 percent coupon or the other option you can just go to the thrift store and just get an old clock there and disassemble it and here i just mark the center of the plate and i also draw a circle i use this marker to trace it and this circle will gonna guide me where will i drill it so make sure that your circle is not bigger than your washer and then i just drill it oh my husband helped me drill it and <laughs> yeah it's very easy i also decided to paint the clock hand using my black acrylic paint but if you have black spray paint that's the best way to do it and i just assemble the clock and while I'm assembling the clock, I just want to say thank you to all of my amazing subscribers for supporting my channel. And if you are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I'm making lots of DIY projects and they are budget friendly. Yeah. And thank you so much. And I will be using this stickers. This is also from Dollar Tree. And I will put the praise whatever i'm late anyways and it's really cute and i also use this the same stickers for the number and here i am laying out the stickers on the parchment paper which is not easy <laughs> here i'm struggling and <laughs> i'm trying to be cool but it doesn't work <laughs> and so my suggestion is just go put the stickers directly to the clock or to the plate and yeah after i lay out all the words i grab my transfer tape and i just trans transferred it to the the plate and i just realized i need to remove the hand so that i can transfer the stickers on the plate and then after transferring the words i work on the number i just put it on or at the bottom randomly and it looks amazing i love it I'm really excited with this project so I keep on putting the hand of the clock and I keep on removing it too because there are more steps to do. So here I just added more mod podge on the clock so that it will give us a nice finished look and I'm just using the mod podge that I've got from Dollar Tree and you are done with this project.
then there you go finally i can put back the hand of my clock <laughs> and i just used the napkin holder to hold the clock you're gonna you can stop right here but i added black acrylic paint on the side of the clock and this gives you a level up look <laughs> yeah so i just used the foam brush i use the side of the foam brush and i just turned the clock on the foam brush and tada i'm so in love with this project and yeah let me know in the comment below what do you think of this project for our third diy or just the bonus <laughs> project i am using this wood floor that i have it here at home you can use any wood that you have and i painted it using the pavement acrylic paint then i draw lines using my white marker and the level the level is also from dollar tree if you don't have a level yet i recommend getting one because they are very useful and i use my line in white by rustolium to distress the board yeah it looks like this and while or after i distressed the board i made a vinyl using my scan and cut and again if you don't have scan and cut there are some stickers from dollar tree like this one always be joyful and this will work great or if you wanna go along with what i wrote you can just do transfer lettering transfer in here i just transferred the vinyl that i made and i also used the sawtooth picture hanger to hang it because the wood floor is so heavy yeah and i am redecorating our house so this is one of my decoration and thanks for <laughs> joining me decorating our house yeah so let me know in the comment below what do you think of this project guys and tell me on the comment what's your favorite and tada! this is our third diy we're done i just put it in our dining table or dining dining room yeah thanks again for watching guys bye bye take care see you on my next diy god bless